this is Bridget with Life on Spectrum and today I want to talk about how to prepare your son or daughter for the workforce. Now this can start as early as they're age 14 but you remember you can also have your son or daughter attend high school until they're age 21. So you need to really talk to your case manager and your special education consultants and your itinerant autistic support teachers to figure out when the best time to implement these things are. One thing I said mentioned before is that one thing I regret doing is not having my son take something dealing with work to prepare him for the workforce. So please try to keep those in mind when you're, you're, you're going to your transition meetings and your IEP meetings. Now there's a few different words or dif different terminologies that they might throw out at you and I wanted to make sure you understand the difference. The first one is work study. Work study generally means it's for students that are higher functioning. They usually already have a job and that they just need, they want to a, not only gain a paycheck, but also gain credit for working at the same time. Work study generally is only for juniors or seniors in high school, or of course anyone between the ages of 18 and 21. And you would have your own job, and then you would be dismissed from school, let's say an hour or two hours early, you'd go to your job and you'd actually get credit and paid for it. That's work study. Work study generally doesn't have any kind of work skills involved. You already have a job. They don't teach you. It's just a standard, typical high school job. So make sure you understand that when they talk about work study. Now the next one is work immersion. Work immersion tends to be a day-long program at a different location than the high school. It's generally in maybe a factory setting or sometimes it's a retirement community or even a hospital. And what's nice about a work immersion program is generally in the morning you have class time. They teach you skills that you need to know for the job. They may teach you how to communicate to patients or how to communicate to customers coming in. They may teach you how to use the cash register or whatever um, you're, you're doing for that day. And then in the afternoon you actually do go to the job and actually do the job what you've learned in the, in the morning. Now that's called a work immersion program. Generally, students do not get paid for this though, but they get credits and it's an all-day program. There's also basic occupational skills, that, or BOS. BOS program is usually for two or three years in, for students that are lower functioning or maybe need a lot more help in the skill level areas. This is usually in a special education classroom, but they do a lot of hands-on learning and a lot of um, continuous learning or repetitive learning over and over again so they get the job and understand the job. Then eventually, after two or three years, they go out and they actually help them with a job trainer find a job. Now, this can be a differences. It might not be for two or three years. They might try a job after six months. So be, remember that and it's a little flexible, but usually if you're in a BOS program, it's for those students of like 18, 19, and 20 for two or three years to try to find them a job that they will be there for life. So that's a BOS. Now there's other different programs out there. I know also my, the school that I work in has a transition skills program. That's for higher functioning students. It's just to get their feet wet in a variety of different jobs, but it's for volunteer only. Just keep these things in mind and you need to ask your school district questions about what they can offer. And like I said, it could start as early as age 14. But hopefully, those basic understandings of those two or three different programs will help. And if you have any other questions, you just let me know in the comment section. And this is Bridget with Life on Spectrum. Thanks for watching that episode. And make sure you come back and join us again for upcoming videos. They'll be uploaded almost on a daily basis. Also, if you really enjoyed us, like us below or even make leave a comment for us to respond back to. And if for, if for all of you that are really involved in the Life on Spectrum, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate you. We hope that this is worthwhile for you. And we'll see you next time on Life on Spectrum.